Welcome to Dropping Them TV. I'm Tyler. I'm here with Todd this week, and we're here with our second episode. Last week, for the first episode, we went and saw Jason's property, and we went and saw Todd's property. This week, we're going to go out to my dad's camp, where I hunt, do a majority of my hunting anyway. Uh, and we're going to see some stand placements for this year, some soybeans, and we're going to go out to Brian's two places that he hunts, and we're going to see some stand placements, a couple trails, and we even come across a scrape before the season is even started. Last week on the episode, we showed your property. How do you think you personally are going to fare out there this year? I honestly think this year is probably going to be one of the best years that I'm going to have out there. I mean, we're seeing a lot of bucks, right, um, right. a lot of nice shooters, as you've seen as we were out there. Yeah, um, we're going to get to see the 10 and the 12, although they have shown up. Um, they don't stay in the field very long, but uh, there's a good amount of dough. So I honestly think that this is probably going to be one of the most successful archery seasons that I'm going to be able to have out there. Yeah, I think really from what we saw, I think you have pretty nice property. I think you're going to turn out pretty well this year for your season. So let's take a look and see what Brian has going on in his neck of the woods. Hey guys, I'm Brian Ockler. Uh, welcome to Dropping TV. As you can see, we're here in uh, Clinton County. This is one of my good hunting spots. What we got behind us is a big field here, and uh, all the deer tend to funnel out this one section. And uh, as you can see, there's a real nice trail coming out here. I have a tree stand right out here in a big uh, opening, and it's probably about 20 yards from this trail. They don't come out usually till uh, right before dark, but when they do, there's probably around 10, 10 to 15 of them that do come out. So we can give a walk in here and show you what's going on. Okay, right now, uh, this is the tree I usually put my climber in. I usually go about 15 to 20 feet up. That trail that we were on earlier comes right back down here, probably about 10 yards from that tree. They use it real often. And also, over here, I'll take you over. There's a trail about 20 yards over this way that they just, they hammer it all the time, every night. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to walk out here just a little ways. As you can see, there's lots of saplings. Uh, usually they like to rub on them. And we'll work our way back, back to the field and then head back to the truck real quick. Last place I'm going to take you guys at this spot. I'm going to take you right over here to this patch of trees. Uh, there was a real big buck rub there last year. I want to see if it's still any good. As you can see, it's kind of old. It's from last year. But I came up as soon as I saw this thing. I mean, just imagine the size of the buck that would rub on this tree. I mean, it's, it's all around too. You got marks up here. It's just unreal. So I know we made it through the year. I got a couple pictures of them already. But uh, hopefully we can get a shot at them. As you can see, guys, we're at spot two. This is also in Clinton County. And uh, what it is, we got a huge cornfield. I bet you it's probably a mile long. And uh, there's a good patch of woods back here. And they funnel right into this cornfield every night. Uh, you can usually catch them in the morning too sometimes. But uh, let's go check it out. Okay, guys, what we got here, uh, we got a nice little scrape. The tree stand's probably about, I'd say, 20 yards away from here. The trail runs right by it, so hopefully we can get a good shot at one of these bucks. We got the trail running through. Comes out from back there. There's a good patch of good thick weeds and everything out through there. And uh, what they do, they come right down this trail. I have my tree stand set up right there. It's not real high, but it's so thick through here. They most of most of the times they don't see you. So uh, just being real sneaky, and you usually get a shot. But uh, it's a real good spot on this side of the property. First time I ever came here, it was kind of on accident. I was running late from school, so I just decided to pick a spot and go for it. But uh, I was sitting here, and it was getting dark, and I had about three does come out from over this way. And uh, before I knew it, I mean, I probably had 25, 30 deer all around me. So I shot a nice doe that night, but uh, like I said, it's polluted with deer out here. Okay, guys, we got one more trail we're gonna check out at this spot. It's probably about 100 yards over this way. Uh, it's a real nice trail. And uh, I know there's a real, real tall eight point in this area. So hopefully it'll make a mistake and go down one of these trails. So let's go check it out. 
Jason might not have a highway over his way, but we got an interstate here. So, uh, I, I mean, it's just bare ground. What they do, they usually come out of this thick, uh, the thick wood line over here, use this trail, and then we'll go right to the corn that's right over this way. And uh, mostly the does and fawns use this, but I know there's lots of mature bucks in here too, so hopefully we can catch them pretty early in the season. So between the two places, hopefully guys, uh, we can get a big buck down for you guys. I'm really hoping. I mean, there's definitely potential here, so hopefully we can do it. Yeah, so it, it looks like it's going to be an amazing season for Brian as well. Uh, he's got great stand placement. We've been talking to him. He's got some really nice bucks. So check out the trail cameras and pictures of them. Phenomenal looking bucks, especially for on public land. And I'm telling you, that boy's putting the yeah. time in. He's putting a lot of time in. And like we've said, it, it's, it's public. There's a lot of public land right here around my house. As far as we are aware, not a lot of people hunt it. Um, and we don't because we have good private access that we can hunt. And even for turkey season, uh, we hunt private land because we just don't want to deal with you know the other people and running into other people and the possibility of hunting accidents. And Which are, are occurring a lot now. There's a so, lot more, yes, a lot more. I really respect Brian for, for doing that and being out there on public land and he's usually successful every oh, man. year. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> that, that kid, it doesn't matter what it is, that kid always has something. You know, whether it just even be just a doe. I mean but I mean he's got he's gotten bucks. And yeah. he's, he's tracking the bucks. That rub, he's gotten pictures from that of that deer. Still. He's yeah. made it through the year. No one's got him yet. So I look forward to getting out there and see what he comes together with, but I'm really excited to hunt my property this oh year. i am very excited and i'm a little biased because it's you know where i hunt and it's my dad's camp that he belongs to and we're out there a lot and last year i was just out of reach again they would always come out of this opening always come out of this opening every time these big bucks were like 65 55 65 yards away it has been over 365 days i just you gotta be aging dude scratching scratching yeah scratching. I'm, I'm excited for that too i'm excited for to be able to go out there and get above you and film that hunt and because uh, i've never been out there i mean i've seen pictures you showed me and what you've been telling me is just sounds oh, like it's it's so nice a phenomenal place to be yeah we're gonna take a look right now at what i have going on at where i hunt So we're out here putting the stand up today for me on our property. Uh, we've got a lot of beans here now this year, which should help pretty much uh, all around for everybody that hunts down here. Uh, we should be able to at least get a doe at the very least this year. Um, so we're hoping to at least uh, draw them in here to these beans, uh, which was the purpose for putting them in here. We had to have some clover. Now we got clover and beans. So. They're coming in right behind me where we have our stand for this year, my stand for this year. Um, I was, they were coming in the same spot last year, and there's a trail here now, and they're still coming here, out through here. And I was just struggling last year getting them to come down towards me because they were a good 45, 50 yards, and I just didn't feel comfortable at all. I didn't have a pin for it to begin with. So we're going to see if we can get this to uh, be successful this year. So hopefully this stand placement uh, works out for us. We have about four acres, five acres of beans planted here. And right now we have fenced in with a solar powered electric fence, keep the deer out of as much as possible. Probably about another two weeks we'll be taking the fence down, letting them start feeding in it uh, prior to archery season coming in. Uh, this stand that we just hung, I think uh, whoever's in it is gonna be right in the middle of where the deer were coming out last year, the, the nice bucks anyway. Um, and I think this 
these beans are going to draw these deer uh, down to this end of the field um, to the south and just on the other side of these beans there's also clover planted which they love but uh, once we open these beans up they're going to be hitting these pretty hard so the first couple weeks of, of archery season should be pretty productive in this stand. I want one when it's a soybean venison burger. <laughs> All right, so we're back out here at my place. Um, we're gonna be putting another stand up behind me. We put a stand up last week, uh, which was my new stand. We moved it down a little bit to a better location. Uh, this stand here, we're only gonna hunt this if we have southeast, northeast wind. Uh, otherwise, our scent's gonna be blown into the wrong direction. So, this is just kind of a secondary stand, place for us to go. Uh, whenever it's not right for us, we got some trails, acorns, back in here it looks like it's gonna be a good spot uh, so hopefully if the, if the beans don't pan out for us real well uh, we just empty the camera card and we have a, a decent four on there we haven't really looked at the rest of it yet but uh, hopefully there's some more that's gonna come in there hopefully when the rut starts we'll have to do get some more as well okay I'm up here helping Tyler today at the stands uh, as I can see you're gonna see some great footage from him he's got some good stand placements lots of nice deer sign so hopefully you're as tickled to this video is what he can put out. So this property we're on today is a, a mix between uh, fields and, and there's a mixture of hardwoods. Uh, a lot of the property has been timbered at one time, a select cut, so there are a lot of uh, areas of thick cover and then it ranges from a, another area that's uh, just pristine forest that's not been timbered off, uh, big oaks, pines, um, just a beautiful part of the property. We have about almost 1500 acres here so it's a very diverse uh, piece of property it's a very unique piece of property it's a lot of fun to hunt no matter how you want to hunt there's there's something here for everybody you got the soybeans which are they provide great uh, nutrition and protein for the deer and the winter months are coming up so they're going to want to eat um, you got great trails leading in and out uh, great stand placement i think that it's going to be a very successful archery season for you as well. That's why it's called hunting. It's not called killing, it's called hunting. It's, just, it's nice to be out there, friends, families, and have the and just enjoy it. I mean, it's a good time. And another thing we had a good time with, Denton. Denton, oh, <laughs> I'm telling you what, Denton, now that was a lot of fun. I've never shot 3D before. I've only been shooting for a year. Um, so it was, it was fun to get that feel, you know, being in the woods, shooting the targets, different animals, different locations. Let's go take a look. Dropping TV. Thanks for joining me, Tyler and Todd. We're heading to Denton Hill to do a little bow shooting today. So hope you enjoy. We're up here at Denton Hill shooting 3D courses. We're gonna see how good we can get started before the season. So hopefully we don't lose too many arrows today. Oh, this one. That's how you do.
about ready to do is attempt to try to shoot an elk at 126 yards. Sounds hard, might not be. It's a matter of figuring out your shot, your arrow work, and roll from there. Just below it. Shot back. Shot it right back again. It does get a good shot. That was a good depth. Yeah. Alright, we're going up to see how we made out on this 126 yard shot. It's only 126 yards, but it is uphill. But then again, we're out here trying to get it in shape. For the actual hunting season so i guess that's part of the game so as i said it's a it's a climb so as you can see we pulled my four and if you look over here in the, in the old jing weeds, we got Tyler's misses. Not by much, but they're misses. So you know who's putting the food on the table. Denton's a very good time. Uh, if you've never gone to a 3D shoot, I recommend you travel. And not just Denton, there's plenty of them. So look them up and find out where you know the one closest to you is because it ranges from you can have bear, elk targets, and bobcat targets underneath tree logs. You got this much to squeeze the arrow down in. I mean, it's a challenge, it's fun, it gets you prepared. And I, I think that I'm gonna be pretty prepared for this season. And Saturday, it was a lot of fun. And you know, we got up in there, got everything situated for the first time of the season. And it was, it was a blast just to be out in the woods again, to have the bow on the tree, having you up there for the first time as a cameraman. Just getting you all set for you know what we're gonna do this year and getting you the ropes and it's just so much fun to be up there waiting for that big buck to walk out within 30 yards and come back next week because that big buck does walk out. So come back and take a look and see what happens. See you guys next week. See. You.